We started with 32. We are down to two. It is the final of Friday Night Football, number 36, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by our friends over at Rocket Mortgage. Guys, one more time, uh, check out Rocket Mortgage. If you're starting to think about getting a home, uh, if you're even just wanted looking for more information on where to start, if you have a home you're looking to refinance, reach out to Rocket Mortgage. They are absolutely phenomenal. Um, they they do such a great job of explaining the entire process. Um, they're obsessed with finding a better way to get a mortgage so you can be obsessed with something a little more important, making your house feel like a home. Check them out. Rocket Mortgage. Push button. Get mortgage. Rocket Mortgage. NMLS ID number 3030. Big shout out to Rocket Mortgage for coming on the Mudhead team. We got a championship game. It is Joke taking on range. Nick Mazesco hanging out with babyface Zan. Certainly was completely intentional. He really wanted to look like he was 10 years younger with that shave. And we got ourselves a great final game here, Zan. <laughs> yeah, so I uh, went to trim up the goatee a little bit, slipped with the razor, so now we're back to being 14 years old again. But uh, I'll tell you what, earlier in the tournament, I said that I thought Joke's offense looked like he was just kind of ad-libbing. No, I'm kind of scared of this. He, he looks very proficient. He's very multiple. That's why I thought he was just kind of ad-libbing. He has rhyme and reason for everything he's doing right now, and his offenses look very good all tournament long. Big shot to the clutch 24 with the Twitch Prime sub. Second and 29. That's not going to help. How about another sack from this Rage defense? Maybe something that's just getting overlooked right now is how well Rage has played defensively here in Friday Night Football. Yeah, he's played good. Uh, you know, this is going to be the biggest challenge for him, though. The fact that Joke can go from anything from bunch wide with uh, the primary ball carrier being his quarterback to a bunch with an RPO to potentially heavy Panther. Uh, there's a lot that he's got to account for in this game, whereas the average competitive Madden game, you know, okay, this game I'm facing BG fam. He's running strong close. This is what I have to worry about. This game you're facing single back wing close flex. This is what I have to worry about. Uh, joke is more multiple, but I'll tell you what, really good defensive drive to start this game by Rage. He gets the stop as let's kick off this championship game with a giveaway. Let's give away one of those Deion Sanders cards. Boy, is it uh, phenomenal. I mean, look at this bad boy. The Madden Ultimate Team 10 card at corner, 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. He is absolutely phenomenal. Reminder, all you need to win that card, you just got to be active in the chat. You got to be following the channel. That's easy. Hit that hard button right at the top. Uh, make sure you're following because you'll know each and every time we go live, and it's completely free to follow and also be a positive force for good in the chat. And uh, you'll be entered to win. We'll have one more to give away after this. It'll be the Kahuna giveaway over on Twitter. We'll let you know how to do that at the conclusion of this championship game. Rage, his first offensive possession. Why not a little Bo Jackson picking up eight on first down? He's running this single back wing flex close. This is the Oakland Raiders special. It's basically stretch dive. You got a couple ad lib passes. Um, I'm surprised to see Joke not going to like 3-4 Bear. We saw just how much it shuts down this same formation Ooh. earlier in the stream, but uh, Joke's very confident in his run defense. He he boasts on Twitter quite a bit that he thinks he has the best run defense out there. I'm inclined to believe him. He's got four Friday Night Football uh, tournament championships already, or three. Oh, I'm sorry. He's got four, right? He's going for five tonight. just seems he's like got, he wins all of them, Nick. He's got three here in Madden 20 four. alone. Yeah, I mean, he's been unreal this year. His his defense has been great. He seems to show up every other week with a different offense. I mean, it's, you know, some weeks it's just I form H tight. Some weeks it's strong I tight. Then he goes to the single back wing close flex. Now he's in the Panthers playbook. He's been all around great this year. No matter what he runs on either side of the ball, he's been very impressive. Uh, congratulations to BS Healy 786 or B Sheely 786. You got yourself that Deion Sanders card. Check your whispers. Uh, from a whisper from uh, Rockets from the Mudhead TV account. If you need to know how to check your whispers, put exclamation point whispers in the chat. It'll let you know how to do it. Make sure you claim it because you know everybody in the chat is looking for that reroll. First and 10 for Rage. Already picked up a couple first downs off to the opening stop on Joke. Bo Jackson in the backfield. Phillip Rivers under center. Two wide set. Hand off to Jackson right up the gut. And good blocking up front. Picks up four. We'll bring up a second and six. Back-to-back -back games that Joke has faced Bo Jackson but not had to worry about the bruiser ability. I think with the arrival of Jim Brown with the arm bar, you've seen more players that want to use the stiff arm ability. They're just going with Jim Brown, whereas the Bo Jackson guys are just going to rock with him without any abilities on him. Um, again, I have to wonder what Joke's defense would look like Especially at that safety position, you see he's running the budget. Will Harris, that team of the week item, 80 overall. And he's running a Darius Slay at the other safety position. Um, might that be Tillman and, and 
Hat Willis on his field if if he's facing Bruiser Bo. Uh, just one of those things I think if you're running this offense, as run heavy as it is, you have to almost give them that Bruiser look. But you see right there, he's opting to go with the hot route Master Rivers, so he's got a much better pass game out of this formation. And it, uh, by the way, shout out to uh, B.S. Healy or B. Sheely. Claimed it. So we got one more giveaway to do. That's going to be the Kahuna giveaway over on Twitter at the end of the broadcast. So uh, hang out with us. We'll let you know how to do that at the conclusion of this championship game. Third and four for Rage. He's looking up the seam. He's got Ramsey on Hill and Ramsey with a nice defensive play. Great SWAT. Fourth and four decision time for Rage. I think you go ahead and go for it. You're playing with house money. You got the opening stop at the ball game. Leave the offense on the field. See if you can convert this and make this the first score of the ball game. You also have ball at halftime. So not the end of the world if you come up empty right here. Last play, he did have the hitch wide open, I think, for a first down. So uh, might have passed up that that read right there for the shot downfield. Here we go. Fourth and four. Heavy box shown by Joke. He's going to be trying to pass it. Ray dropping back with Rivers. He's looking over the top for Hill one more time. This time he beats Harris and picks up the first and more. Down to the 23-yard line. Oh, you got to love Phillip Rivers slaying it with that sidearm throwing motion. Gun tight slots, halfback week. The four verticals play has two wheel routes. The uh, inside receivers that are off the line of scrimmage, you can motion them outside. That's a great man beater, and it gets over the top of cloud flats like we saw earlier. Blocky threw that same type of read to get himself into field goal range to force overtime, but he missed the ice kick. But that that's the exact throw you just saw right there from Rage. Second and 12 for Rage. Balls on the 25-yard line nearing the two-minute warning in the first half. Holt split out wide left as Rivers dropping back to pass, waiting, looking to the right side. That's Tyreek Hill, but a good defensive play to pry that ball free. Incomplete pass. Going to bring up a third and 12. Yeah, good read right there on the post route. Created separation there from Ramsey, but you saw Champ Bailey gets over there just in time to apply a catch and traffic penalty to Tyreek, and that ball comes out third down and 12. And look at uh, Joke showing pressure up the middle. Almost everyone in the box puts hold out wide right on third down and 12. Bo Jackson on the right hip. Rivers dropping back to pass. Right up the seam. That's Tyreek Hill. Too easy to Tyreek. Touchdown. Kansas City touchdown range as he gets the first score of this game ahead of the clock after the early stop on Joke. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. And we are back live. And how about that, Dot Zan? Everyone talking about the run game, talking about Lamar, talking about all this different meta, but a great pass there from Rage to go up early in this game. I think he set that play up beautifully. He went to it on the big fourth down. He went to the wheel route down the sideline. Most of that receiver from that same formation out wide. Right there, you think Joke is probably expecting something a little bit different, but it's not the seam up the middle. I love that play design. He set that up so well. And now Joke, he's got to get going because Ooh. Rage has got the ball at half, and he's played great defense. This is, it doesn't feel like the BG Fam game where we saw BG Fam got the first score, he got the stop and the score. That game felt like Joke the whole way. Was we were just waiting for the moment. Right now, I don't get that feeling, and we're close to the end of the first half. Joke has not gotten going in this game yet. Seven Rage is most likely in the Oakland Raiders playbook for whoever's asking in the chat. Look at the uh, play getting flipped back and forth. Empty backfield for Joke with Lamar Jackson at the helm. Five wide receivers. Bring Ross back over to the right side. Minute 49 to go in the first half. Lamar takes the snap. Three-man rush from Rage. He'll take off with Lamar. And if you bring only three, if you don't have any pressure, that is just too easy for Lamar Jackson. Yeah, we saw that he went to the escape artist on Lamar after I think it was the third round. He went to it last game in the semifinals. He didn't have that ability on Lamar early on, and his offense just looked a little off kilter. Offense looks so much better when he's paying the cap to, to really scramble. You know that he's gone more budget at the back and receiver positions, Goodwin, Grant, etc. cetera. Uh, but you get more out of Lamar, oh. you see right here. Oh, sticky with it as Jackson Ooh. takes a big hit then. Dangerous See, taking that hit. Shout out to DG224 with the Twitch Prime sub. See, How I'm going to sound a run? little preachy. I'm going to sound a little preachy right there. That was a hell of a run right there by Joke, but you ran smack dab. You just went straight into a hit stick from Jamal Adams. That ball doesn't come out. I got to question that a little bit. 
Uh, ha hey three one three asks Hey Zan and Nick, who's your go to player for defensive tackle in a four three defense? Says Joe, trying to get out of the pocket, nowhere to go. He'll throw this one away. Oh man, four three D tackle. I mean, we talk if we're talking IRL. Um, I mean Fletcher Cox. I, th- I think that he's sure. he's the guy. I think in Madden he's got a great item too. In Madden, Aaron Donald is. He's scheme proof. Three four four three. He you can kick him inside to a four three D tackle. You can rush him as a five technique and a a three four defense. That's another name you should be looking at too. Seven nothing. Rage on top. Thirty three seconds remaining, and it's gonna be a shotgun formation for Joe Kling to tie this game up. Rage gonna get the ball at halftime. Grant now on the right hip of Lamar Jackson. Metcalf split out wide right. Jackson dropping back to pass. Another three man rush from Rage. Gets out of the pocket. Waiting. Looking back at the end zone. That's tight coverage. I actually don't mind that throw, Zan, because he put it where only his guy could have made the play. It's a safe throw. Now, there was no way that was going to be an interception. Yeah, that's a smart decision right there. I mean, a lot of people are going to say, oh, that's a terrible read, but it's exactly what you said. Okay, so what if it gets picked? There's no way Calvin's getting two feet down right there, that out-of-position safety Calvin. I agree with you. It's tough. But you saw right there, I'm not paying the cap for the receivers. If that's, you know, Torrey Holt, Marvin Harrison, you know, Randy Moss, yeah, we're talking. But right now, he's got a lot of short receivers on the field, and that Metcalf is – I don't believe that Metcalf is a, is a dynamite item either. That's more of a budget play. Oh, he's looking Jackson. slow right here. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's out of bounds. Going to set up the uh, field goal attempt. Uh, what's going on, uh, Cougs? Have a good night. What's going on, Brad? Good to see you, man. Uh, appreciate all you guys hanging out with us, showing support for Friday Night Football. Throwing up your NBLs. Love it. Kick is up. And it is good. 17 seconds left. It's a 7-3 ball game. Rage on top. Forgot to do this all night somehow. Uh, If you guys are interested in competing in Friday Night Football, I got a feeling we're going to have some openings coming up in our brackets for those of you um, that are going to be watching the club series. A lot of these top-level pro players kind of fall off the radar a little bit over the next month or so uh, with the club series and them vying to represent their favorite NFL team. So go, uh, go ahead and type exclamation point compete in the chat. Fill out that link. If you guys are out there doing well on the salary cap leaderboards, you want to compete in competitive uh, money head madden make sure you guys let us know fill out that application there's bo jackson left side steps out of bounds after a nine yard gain uh, if you ask us by the way if you're in the chat you want to ask us a question about players position something like that uh do me a favor just make sure you specify whether you're talking about in madden or in real life just so we know Drini joining us in the chat what's going on Drini? good to see you my friend hope all as well as i know you're getting on that grind for the club championship big shout out to Drini. Joke looking a little bit more comfortable here defensively on the second drive. Granted, it is the end of the first half, and Rage has to press. Again, Rage oh, will have the ball at half. Oh, we got a shot right ball. here. Let's watch it. <laughs> All right. You can tag him. A little spin move from Bo. So we go to uh, halftime. Rage up by four. He's got the ball coming out, too. This is a huge drive, a potentially $1,000 drive for Rage. Yep. He's played good Madden. Like we said, he started the year off hot. Ran deep in several tournaments, kind of fell off the map there for a month or so. Right back into our finals here tonight. He's played great Madden. His defense has been phenomenal. Brad asks, OSU, am I good enough to play in this Madden? Uh, you're you're not good enough. You should probably sell your game. Uh, 7-3 the score. <laughs> I'm assuming you know him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'll tell you a quick, I'll tell you a quick Brad story in our in our 32-man franchise. Um, because he brought it up, so I get to call it out. Uh, he is the uh, Cincinnati Bengals in our 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 franchise, uh, and he gave up a uh, first round pick uh, to trade for Will Greer. Wait, from West Virginia? Yeah. Is he like a WVU fan or something? No. Okay. Interesting bold choice. It's a bold choice. <laughs> it has it hasn't worked out great for him. Bold strategy, Cotton. Yes, Let's see how uh, that I'm works not, I'm not sure about BK that. BK asking, hey, where are we at in getting a Sean Taylor card? Uh, BK, uh, we we don't work for EA, so I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Zan, uh, any any thoughts? It's Bo Jackson right up the middle, and he's in open spaces. Rams going to run him down. 20, 15, 10, 5. Bo knows. Bo goes touchdown. Rage with a huge touchdown to extend the lead. Runs the halfback dive right there. Uh, this 3-4 odd, it's, it's a good defense against stretch calls. The one thing that you can do against it, though, is keep sticking with the halfback dive, especially right there when you don't have to worry about an enforcer. It's kind of like one of those things you just keep running it and running it. Eventually, your blocking is going to line up, and you see right there a bow just untouched up the middle. 
Plenty of time left for a joke as uh, uh, it's KOS. When's the next Dion giveaway? We're doing that on Twitter in our Kahuna giveaway at the end of the broadcast. So stick around. We'll let you know how to uh, enter that one. Still plenty of time left in this ball game. Joke has been showing that he can bust a big run. That last drive derailed when Lamar Jackson got gassed. Uh, just ran a draw. There was nothing left in the tank for him. He took three. But you see exactly what that draw does. You see that rage right there blitzed seven. Blitzed all the linebackers. He's not going to let Lamar beat him. He wants him to throw checkdowns, hit the flats to Marquise Goodwin, hit Corey Grant, take your check down to, Mar uh, to Hollywood Brown. And then when he drops the coverage, here's the draw. There's the draw. Uh, who just asked this question? Uh, in Fox Kid, oh, I don't do Twitter giveaways by chat. See you, man. Uh, I think everybody who wants to win that card on Twitter says, cool. And uh, uh, DeGraff asks, why does Rage use Philip Rivers? So Philip Rivers, despite, you know, the the weak arm, and oh. that's a huge sack. Uh, it's starting Jeez, to look dire right now. This so well. Wow. So the Philip Rivers, despite the arm strength and the funky throwing animation, he's probably the cheapest option for the hot route master, which gives you four additional hot routes for every player on the field. Uh, and just to have that at your disposal, you can constantly keep your opponent off guard with your, your route combinations. Whereas, you know, Lamar Jackson, while he can run like you see there, you basically have to deal with stock hot routes and stock plays. So um, just gives you a different thing to respect. That's that's the one thing a lot of people want to talk about abilities and, you know, they're very polarizing. People either love them or they hate them. I love the abilities like hot route master, the route specialist things, just giving you options to keep your offense fresh and, and keep your opponents off balance. I love those types of things. Third and five. Four joke down by two scores. He needs a score and badly. Three man rush rolls out of the pocket with Jackson. A little playmaker up the field. First time we've seen that, but a great read by Rage and he picks it off. Devin White with the interception looking for the playmaker up the field. And what a defensive play by Rage, who's having himself a heck of a Friday night football. Right now, the offense is all Lamar Jackson. Use the escape artist, ad lib playmaker. Small body receivers, they're not going to go up there and, and make those catches in traffic. And Devin White, he's one of the best inside backers in salary cap. I know a lot of players love the Willis and the Urlacher and the, you know, the Shazir power-up item. But in salary cap, if you can get production from budget players like Devin White, you know, you can get that Devin Bush out there on the field like we saw some players play. Um, that allows you to spend your cap elsewhere. And uh, Rage has done a hell of a job with his roster construction tonight. Big sweep saying Rage is playing out of his mind. Agreed. What a performance so far. Third and nine. He's going to throw for it. He finds Tyreek Hill, who holds on through the contact. It may be destiny at this point for Rage to win Friday Night Football. Dan, has Rage won a Friday Night Football before? I want to say he has not. Uh, I think. Let me look. Hold on. All right, we got we got the Pretty sure he hasn't. Hand the Danny spreadsheet. I don't believe he has. I do not see him on the list. He's looking for his first Friday Night Football title. I'm pretty sure. That's what it looks like. Four's up in the chat. Here we go. Five minutes away. It's rage with ball up two possessions. Tell you what, I would trade two minutes in a field goal right here. Oh, absolutely. Especially the way your defense has been playing. Exactly. I mean, if I was getting scored on, like, in that first game we saw a 42-42 game, like, maybe not. But, like, the way Rage defense has played the entire uh, Friday night football, uh, I would take that all-day reminder. Rage, uh, he's uh, he's had some great competition. Took down Fitz Magic, took down Beast Mode Mac, took down Timor, and took down Canes. That's a pretty good resume, uh, Zan, for who Rage has had to go through to get to this final game. Not to mention that his task in the final game, the ultimate boss of the tournament, is your three-time Friday Night fo Football champion in Madden 20 alone in joke. Uh, talk about a confidence boost heading into the uh, the Club Series single elims next week. Uh, he, he's oh. looked phenomenal. I, I fear for whoever is in his club. And there's another first down picked up by Bo Jackson. And you're seeing not only Bo Jackson, of course, a great running back, but, but you're seeing... Uh, rage with that running game, really patient, waiting for the holes to open up, 
Take it, Bo Jackson. 22 yards. Walk into the end zone. A three-score lead now for Rage as we are uh, – are we getting a GG in the chat? Is that what we're getting? I think we're headed that no, direction he's changing here. It. He's changing up the – I don't know what's going on. 251 to go. It's 17 point lead. He's checking the offensive line because he's wondering why he's getting toted on, I think, is is what we just saw right there. I believe we are watching. Yeah, we're watching this from Joke's vantage point. He wanted to see what type of offensive line he was dealing with right there. Uh, you know, if nothing else, right there, Joke taking notes for himself, like, okay, this is the line yeah. I can get away with, or, you know, that maybe these are the guys I want to go to war with next week. Uh, nothing wrong with that at all. I think, you know, Joke even in defeat right now, assuming defeat is, is learning. And that's something that you have to do at home. If you guys are, you know, we always see people in the chat, it's lose, lose, right? You know, somebody quits a game, it's why they quit. But if somebody's losing, it's why don't they quit? You why know, that's, you that's always yeah. How, yeah, it's always the Twitch chat. The best players, they learn in defeat and they, they stick things out and they try to figure out what will work against something. They start making tweaks to what wasn't working and see if they can find something uh, because yeah. you know you don't get this opportunity. I mean, Joke has been fortunate enough to get this opportunity quite a bit, but that's not the case for most players. Yeah, it's all data. Uh, as uh, and Joke has said, you know, this is my last Friday night football before uh, I really get on the grind for uh, salary cap. So this is all great information. And again, it's nothing to shake a stick at a second place finish here in Friday night football number thirty six. Reminder, guys, hit that follow button. So you know, each and every time we go live here on Mudhead TV, you are not going to want to miss out on next week's Friday Night Football, and the Friday Night Football's coming up as Joke looking to the end zone. He's got – looking for a little jump ball right there. Uh, tons of action, even through clubs, man. Friday Night Football is not shutting down. No breaks. Still running Friday Night Football each and every week here on Monday TV. Yep, we'll be live all the way through the end of Q4 up through the end of 2019, so make sure you guys are hitting the follow button in the chat. Like I said, with Club Series coming up, you get a lot of pro players that want to focus on that, and we don't blame them one bit. One bit. So if you guys are running hot right now in the competitive Madden community on those ladders, fill out the application. I'm serious. This is the time that you get an opportunity with some of these goons going to salary cap or to the, the Club Series and playing salary cap uh in in redwood shores you guys are going to get opportunities yourself so let us know let us be let yourself be heard as we got joke that's it hey never say never all right you know hey we've seen weird stuff happen as king glorious in the chat says he says just like the nfl you watch the tape after a loss to correct the errors for next time especially uh, zan in salary cap where this isn't regs where your team is set. It's salary cap. You can make adjustments, change up uh, who you're putting out there. And so data like this is valuable to these guys looking to build the perfect team for their play style for clubs. Absolutely. I mean, if, if nothing else, you learn, okay, this is the right guard that cost me a thousand dollars. And the example of yeah. rage is right guard, just mauling all game long for Bo Jackson up the middle. You know, maybe that's the guy. It doesn't have to be a play or an adjustment or a counter. Sometimes it's just something on your roster that you didn't know or you hadn't thought of before. Um, so he's going to stick it out and try to figure it out along the way here. I think that might be, is that, is, did that say Marpet or Martin? It's tough for me to see. I think that's Zach Martin at right guard. See right there. I mean, he's just bullying yeah. guys right now. And he'll pick up the first down rage on his way to his first Friday night football champion. He'll pick up a thousand dollars from our rocket mortgage prize pool. Uh, what's going on, Sasquatch? Good to see you. And a big uh, uh, congratulations uh, one more time. If you missed it from round number one, Jay Bird won that Rocket Mortgage Blitz Cash uh, by taking out last week's champion, Saint. Um, so a big congrats to Jay Bird, who even though he, he didn't win, he got into the top eight, so he gets an invite to next week. And on top of that, he pocketed a cool $1,000 as look at this run game continue to uh, dominate. And that might be the tap out. There it is. Congratulations. Rage is your Friday night football number 36 champion. And Zan, it wasn't just that run game. It was a complete package run game and defense. And Rage put on a show. And I think maybe is announcing to the world that he is not one to be messed with uh, coming up at the clubs. Yeah, his defense. That's some of the best defense I've seen in FNF the entire run that we've had here in 20. I mean, the run defense was there. The route, you know, the. The zones were in the right spots all night long. He manned up the right players all night long. He made really good adjustments. He kept the ball on the ground. He played ball control. Phillip Rivers with the hot route master when he needed to throw, set up the right route combinations for him. He's got something going, and he's going to carry that momentum. I would assume he's going after Tampa Bay. He's a diehard Buccaneers fan, which could mean Clef the God 
is on notice right now. Of course, Clef won our Friday Night Football number 34. He got bounced last week with the uh, the bounty on his head by ADOT. Now we're going to see if Rage next week wants to come back and defend that bounty. He's got a chance to not only win $1,000 again next week, but if he sweeps again next week, he'll take home his own bounty for $2,000 more. Yeah, and he was looking tough this week. All right, guys, it's time for our Kahuna giveaway, our final Deion Sanders card. We're giving away. If you've never been here before, here's how the Kahuna giveaway works. You're going to head over to Twitter, and you're going to go to Rage's Twitter. Here it is, at Rage. Uh, with with a couple extra e's, got two extra e's and underscore at the end, just to make things a little fun. Uh, and all you got to do is tag Rage and uh, say something positive. This is our way of spreading positivity through the Madden community. As shout out to Bart Scott with the can't wait, I love it. Uh, you just got to say something positive. Um, let him know congratulations on his win. Uh, you got to let, uh, let him know congratulations uh, for winning his first Friday Night Football, taking home that $1,000. Just a way to spread positivity, uh, and we will draw a winner. Uh, one of the guys who tweets at him, all you got to do is just tag Rage. We'll draw a winner from that. You'll win that Deion Sanders card. And uh, he, he, he knows. Uh, that was 31 minutes ago, okay? He knew what was coming up in that championship game, and he was able to come away with victory. Zan, what a night of Friday night football, a crazy first round. We had tight games all over the place and we saw what I think, uh, especially for past Friday night footballs, we saw a really nice array of offenses, some passing, yeah, some running, uh, really interesting as we head into the meat of the club championship season. You know, it's crazy. The past couple of years, you talk about the game only being gun bunch trips, tight end, whatever it is for that given year defensively you talk about it only being three three five odd or nickel normal this year i mean you could do a little bit of everything you can go jumbo under center we saw that tonight you can go i form you can go single back wing close flex you can go compression you can go spread you could go empty you can run the quarterback you can run rpos listen in a year where everyone says run 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 there's never been more variety whether or not you want to put it on abilities or you want to put it on the schemes whether you want to put it on the rpos that much is true i enjoy calling i enjoy watching this madden far more than i enjoyed calling or watching the previous two or three maddens um you know that's my opinion that's okay if you disagree with it i respect that at home but uh tonight's tournament especially that first round just some of the best most entertaining Madden that uh, I've seen in the last couple couple years. So there was it was a true joy to watch. Uh, and as always, it is a joy being here with Friday Night Football with everybody out there in the Friday Night Football community. We appreciate you guys hanging out with us each and every night. Congrats to all of our winners of our giveaways. And we hope you hit that follow button and you join us each and every week here on Mudhead TV as we continue to put on Friday Night Footballs. So what a night of action. Big congratulations to Rage for his Friday Night Football Championship, his first one. Uh, and with that play, it could be the first of many. Uh, for Rockets behind the scenes, for our producer, Will, and for Zan, I am Nick Mazesco. Thank you so much for tuning into Friday Night Football, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by our friends over at Rocket Mortgage. We will see you next week right here on Mudhead TV.